Hi, thanks for joining me. We're going to have a look at using some new poo paper and creating some really nice effects, possibly trying to make a jellyfish, which is what I was playing with yesterday. So the paper that I'm using is called Yupo paper. Um, you can get it on Amazon. It's a very strange paper to use with watercolour because it's actually waterproof. You might be able to see there's a slight shine on it. It's very thin and bendy and really smooth. And it takes an age for your paint to dry, so you have to be quite patient. Um, the other things that we're going to use in this session are some salt. So I'm just using some coarse salt because I want the quite big grains, which give you this nice effect here. And you can see on this one, it gives you a nice effect. Um, I've also got a toothpick, which you can use for the strands. Um, I've got a straw, which I used a bit on this one for making some circles. Um, the paints I'm using are Daniel Smith's Pfafflo Green. No idea how to pronounce that. And Pfafflo Blue, the green shade. Um, in this little experiment, I used a bit of um, yellow ochre as well. You need a big brush um, and some clean water and some kitchen roll for any spillage because it gets a bit sloppy. So let me put all the stuff that I was playing with away. And I will show you. Now I'm going to go about this. So I've just cut a strip because I'm just playing, otherwise I'd do it on a nice big bit. And I'm going to use dirty water just so that you can see where I'm putting my water. So I just sort myself out. So I'm going to start by loading the brush with water and just doing a kind of dome shape. You can't really see that, so I'm going to make that a bit. I'm going to, you would just do this with clear water, but I'm just adding the colour so that you can see it. So you've got a dome shape of water, and then you're going to get whichever colour you choose. And just pop in. If it doesn't soak in, I'm going to add a bit of green in as well I'm going to just wash my brush out and I'm just going to pop some splashes of water in there can you see what it's doing it's making a really amazing um, kind of pushes the paint out of the way so while that's doing its thing, I'm going to just get a bit of I've got cat hair on my paintbrush. Bear with me a second. So now for the kind of tentacle bits, I'm just going to just quite quickly pull a bit of it down. I don't want to pull too much of the colour out. I quite like what it's doing in there. So just some centre tentacles and again, throw some water on it. Watch what it does. And maybe some wispier bits just here and there. Just going to get the toothpick. Pull some of that out. Like that. So I'm working 
working very quickly here. You don't have to do it quite as quick. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It's looking okay at the moment. So I might want to put a few, I'm just going to get a bit of colour and do a few. So I'm just tapping. Move it up a bit for you. I'm just going to tap the end of the paintbrush and I'm going to put the splashes coming down from the tentacles. Get a bit of green. What? More colour in. A bit more just plain water. Just stick the water in. Don't be afraid to make it quite wet. And then the salt, I did it with the other one, so just sprinkled it along the bottom there. So it's kind of underneath. And then you have to leave that to dry and to get its main effect. Uh, be careful how you lift it because obviously the paper's really floppy if you just lifted it like that all of your what you've just done would drip off the page so you need a stiff a bit of proper watercolour paper if you want to move it I do is I'd slide it underneath like that and then you can take it and put it to dry but as it's drying, you might see that actually, you know, you want a bit more colour in it. Um, so I might put a bit of real intense blots of blue. I feel I need a bit more up here. moving again and then the other thing that you can do I have got some brush out of gold as well I don't know what that will look like if we just sprinkled a little bit of gold here and there I'm not sure that'll work, we'll say. I might just suck up the green and look muddy, disgusting mess, but it's worth a go. Um, I've also got some sprinkles. Some shiny. Be a bit wet at the moment for these. I need to wait for some of it to dry off first. Well, that's all there is to it, and you've got to wait for this to dry, which is probably going to be by tomorrow, and it will fade. Um, you can go back to your pictures on UPU paper. But the difference with this and other paper is you could actually rub, you could rub a lot of this out. So just be careful if you are going to go over a bit. So you might, you could go in and maybe add some more depth once it's dried. 
tried just a bit more a little bit more oomph in certain places and if you think you've gone too far you can get the kitchen roll and just suck up quite pleased with but it could just do with a bit more of a colour on there. As I say it fades quite a lot. It's a lot of water I'm using. to it as I say it does take forever to dry so just be warned um, and be careful how you pick your paper up I hope you enjoyed that <laughs>